So here is the recap video of our quirky little beach hut design that we worked on this morning. Now I've used a couple of brushes for this design. I've used my flat broad brush, which is a size three. And I've also used my little round headed brush, which is a size six. Now it would be nice if you're able to use the broad brush, um, but if you're not so confident, then please do just use your little round flat head brush. I'm going to be using my broad brush and I'm just starting by applying the wash at the bottom of the design and just bringing the wash through towards the base of the beach hut. Now I'm quite happy that the paint hasn't coloured all the paper and I'm quite happy that there is some elements of white showing through because that just provides a little bit of texture and a different tone regarding the sea. Again I'm going to load my brush up with a different blue, just a slightly darker shade and I'm just working on the sky in a similar way, just nice broad strokes. And just being careful not to get the blue paint on the outline of our little beach hut. If you have any stronger pigment um, of colour, don't worry. You know that with some water loaded on your brush, you can just soften those edges off ever so slightly. And then just work the paint into the paper until you have an effect that you're happy with. Next stage is to come down and work on the beach and we're going to be using the yellow paint and we're going to be taking it up around about a third of the depth of the beach hut. So again just using nice soft strokes just apply the yellow paint to your paper being careful not to let the yellow bleed into the blue of your sea. Take the beach up to around about a third up the side of the, uh, the beach hut and just be careful not to um, get the paint going through the outline of your beach hut. So just work those lines just to fade them out and just to soften them ever so slightly so there's no real severe broad strokes. Now the next stage is to add um, the background. Now I'm going to be using a lovely violet colour. And this violet, when it's washed out, um, really does create a nice tone um, to the back of the painting. It also blends in really nicely into the blue of the sky. Now this is a little bit trickier when you're applying this wash because you've actually got larger surface area of the beach hut to navigate around. So just taking a brush stroke around the edge of the design, just then push the paint towards the edge of your painting. If you need to add some more colour to it, actually um, add some more definition, don't be afraid to do so. Now the broad line that I've got there at the top, I'm just now going to fade in. And to do that, I've just loaded my brush up with just water only. And then I'm just going back over the work just to uh, enable those two colors to um, fade into one another really quite seamlessly. So once you've done one side and you're happy with the way that that looks, then you can then come over and do exactly the same on the other side.
So just take some time to uh, work the colour and just ensure that there's no sort of strong defined brush marks and just work on the level of fade so that is even on both sides of your painting. So once you're happy with the wash, you can now make a start on the door. And just doing it this way around just allows the, the, um, the paint to dry around the outside of your beach hut outline. We're going to be using two colours to create this lovely bleached wood effect. And I'm also allowing some of the white of the paper to bleed through as well. Just it so it makes our little beach hut look quite uh, quite weathered. Again, using the larger brush. If you're not feeling so confident, don't worry. You can use your little um, round brush if you so wished. But I'm going to continue to use my broad flat brush. So I'm using green for my beach hut today. So I've loaded my brush up with some green watercolor paint. applying the colour to the plank of wood and then it's always nice to allow miss a plank and work on the next one that allows the first one that you've done just a little bit of time to dry and just to establish the uh, the depth of colour so we shall miss one and work on the next one along so again just loading up with the green paint and then just working some of the colour just back down upon itself so it's just got a, a, a variance of colour shading. And then I'll miss one again and go on to work on the last plank of the door. Just using a dry brush to um, mop up any excess pooling of paint. And now I'm coming back along to the one that we've missed out and then just work again quite methodically adding the colour to the other planks on the door. So using the same tones of green, I'm now working in exactly the same manner on the main part of the beach hut. Now you need to make sure that before you do actually proceed at this point that your paint is dry, that you've, um, you've applied with the wash. Because what you don't want is you don't want the paint to, um, to bleed into your lovely wash that uh, you've worked quite hard to uh, create. We're coming up towards the uh, the life buoy, which is attached to the top of the beach hut. You just need to take some care that you don't um, bleed the green colour into um, the outline of the of the little life belt. We are going to be using um, the white of the paper 
to um, to add some um, colour to the life belt. We're only going to be painting in two of those sections. And then you repeat the process again using a slightly different tone of green. Work your way back up our little beach hut, filling in all the, uh, the missing missing spaces Now I'm just going to use um, change my brush and I'm actually going to use the smaller headed brush just because the space is getting a little bit tight as I'm working towards the top of the beach hut. Now that paint has pooled very very slightly just at the very top of the beach hut. So all you need to do is just dry the brush off and reapply the brush to the, um, the places where you've actually got the paint that's pooling and a drier brush will actually take that excess paint away. So we're coming back down towards the bottom of the beach now and I'm just using a very um, different um, shade of um, sort of a mustardy sort of sandy colour. Just applying um, two or three um, sort of squares of um, colour to the bottom of the beach. Drying the brush off and then with the dry brush just rub that colour through just to create that little bit of shading. And what you're giving is, uh, what effect you're trying to achieve with this is just a little um, abstract sort of mound of sand and, and some little um, sand castles. So again, just on the other side, just add some dots of colour, little oblongs, dry the brush off and then just rub the design and the colour to add the shading to the bottom of the beach. Very, very simple and we'll add some of the, uh, the ink details once the painting is actually dry. So what we need to do next is again just using our little round brush is I'm just using some red and just painting in a little flag. And now we'll just apply the red to two of the segments of the life boy just at the top of the, the beach hut. Just be careful again when you're doing this, this part that you're um, mindful of the paint bleeding into the green. You don't want it to become all muddy so just be careful with the colour and just ensure that the paint is, is pretty much dry before you add in the red. Now what I'm going to do now is just add a second colour wash over the top of the green 
now that it's um, it's, it's drying, um, it's almost a wet on wet process by applying the different um, second layer of colour. The second layer of colour that I've chosen to add to our little beach hut design, I'm actually using some blue. Now don't cover the um, area entirely with the blue, just create some little um, lines. If you've got any paint that's a little bit stronger than you would like, don't forget with the wet with a dry brush you can actually just lift that off. And what you're doing with this blue colour is you're just adding an extra bit of texture and just creating that look of that little weathered um, beach hut. So just work your way through the design, just adding in that second colour and adding in the extra texture. I've just realised when I've been painting this that I haven't painted the centre of the um, the life boy to show it where it's um, attached to the um, front of the beach hut. So I'm just going back in and just adding that um, colour to the centre. So what I'm going to do now is just using the blue, is just um, apply the paint to the fascia of our little beach hut. And then also using the same colour, I'm then going to be um, using the, the blue around the door frame of our little beach hut. And then what we can do is like um, how we added the, the texture and the tone of colour over the wood up the sides of the beach hut, just doing a very, very similar process on the front of the door. So just putting lines of colour and dragging it through, just to give that appearance of, uh, of it being a little bit weathered.
and that's pretty much the painting finished so what you need to do now is just allow that to dry usually it's dry within about 30 minutes sometimes a little bit um, shorter and now comes the ink detailing now it's up to you you can use a sharpie which will create a little bit more of a solid line or keeping it nice and fine use your black fine liner and this is where we add the ink details to our design So just working around the design, just going over your pencil lines. So I'm just putting in the door frame. And then I'm going to be adding the um, plank details to the door. And it's at this part of the process that the painting really does begin to, uh, to come to life. Just add a little circle of pen and just make a little um, keyhole as well, just to give it that little bit of detail. And now we can go over the, uh, the wooden planks at the side of the beach hut. Now this little design is very, very basic and very simple. Um, one of the things, the main things that we've learnt from today's um, little paint along is obviously the use of colour and the wash for the background. Now you can have some fun with this design, you could actually um, create a row of different beach huts. You could add um, more things to your picture such as um, fences or beach huts, uh, beach balls or you could add a little washing line with swimming costumes on. You could add all sorts of different bits and pieces to, to your design and you can then make it as quirky and as interesting as you, as you like. I'm just adding in the uh, the outline to our little life belt. And now working on the the planks towards the top of the the beach hut. Now you'll notice I've made a mistake there and we've just got a little bit of, um, of blue that's scuffed into the, the lilac. And all I'm using there just to mop that up is a little bit of a sponge. Just soak a, a sponge in some water. And then you can almost use it as um, a bit of an eraser really um, and just rub away that um, smudge that I'd, I'd created there. So now we come down to just adding some sandcastle details to our shaded area in the foreground of our little beach. Very very simple, just drawing the outline of the sandcastles and then adding a flagpole for our little flag. Using your pen I just needed to create a couple of, of lines that would um, suggest 
some mounds of um, sand and then just add some dots um, just very very simple dots directly from your pen just to add that little bit of texture Once the dots have been done, all you need to do is just scribble over the top. And that just creates quite a nice um, effect. So I shall just do the same over the other side. So just drawing in my outlines of my beach hut, uh, sandcastle, sorry. And then adding in my lines for my mounds of sand. A few dots for extra texture. then we just need to scribble over the top. And then we just need to add some detail to the sea. And you just need to be very loose when you're doing this. You don't need to think about it and you don't need to be precise. But all you're going to do is just scribble, just scribble some black lines into the sea. Don't think about it, don't be precise, just be very, very loose and just scribble. And then you just need to sign your work. And that is pretty much it. That is your painting of your little quirky beach hut finished. So what we now need to do is just peel away the masking tape because if you remember we've set this um, so it's, there's a little bit of negative space around it. So gently peel away your masking tape and just be careful that it doesn't pull the paper and pay a particular attention to the area of the bottom of the painting where you've been resting your hand because that can usually be the most problematic area. So just take some time and peel it away very slowly. And that is it. Your painting has now finished. Very fun very simple but you can do so much with this little design so I'd love to see um, your creativity and see what you've come up with. Please do share your work and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Goodbye!